The Tale of the Clever Shepherd, the Wise Buffalo, and the Curious Wolf. Once upon a time, in a magical world where animals could speak, a giant buffalo lived happily on a shepherd's farm. The buffalo was strong and loyal, helping the shepherd plow the fields and do all the hard work. In return, the shepherd took great care of the buffalo, making sure he was well-fed and comfortable. They had a wonderful friendship, working together in harmony every day. One sunny afternoon, the shepherd decided to take the buffalo to a grassy meadow to graze. As they walked, the shepherd found a shady apple tree and decided to rest under it. Little did they know, a hungry, sneaky wolf had been following them, his mouth watering at the thought of a big, delicious buffalo meal. The wolf hid behind a bush, watching the shepherd and the buffalo. That buffalo would make a great lunch for me, he thought. But how can I get rid of that human first? The wolf, being cunning, came up with a plan and boldly appeared in front of them. I have a few questions for you, the wolf said with a sly grin. If you can't answer them, the buffalo is mine. Both the shepherd and the buffalo were surprised and curious about what the wolf would ask. Why does a strong buffalo like you serve a human, especially when you have such powerful horns to protect yourself? The wolf asked. The buffalo calmly replied, Well, I help the shepherd plow the fields, and in return, he feeds me the best food. That's how we take care of each other. Hmm, said the wolf, still not satisfied. But how does a mere shepherd control such a huge and mighty buffalo? Is it that stick in your hand? Is it magical? The shepherd smiled and shook his head. No, it's not the cane that's magical. It's something much greater. It's called wisdom. The wolf tilted his head, confused. Wisdom? What's that? That's not an answer. I still don't get it. Now, the wolf was getting impatient, but at the same time, he was curious. I'm very interested in this thing you call wisdom. I want to see it for myself. The shepherd thought for a moment and said, well, wisdom is not something I carry with me, but I can show it to you. But there's one condition. What's the condition? Asked the wolf eagerly. Until I bring wisdom, I need to tie you to this tree to make sure the buffalo is safe while I'm gone, said the shepherd. The wolf, being so curious about wisdom, agreed to be tied to the tree without hesitation. He was so excited to learn about this mysterious thing that he didn't think twice. The shepherd tied the wolf securely to the tree and went off. Meanwhile, the buffalo, who understood what was going on, grinned widely. The wolf, not understanding why the buffalo was laughing, waited and waited for hours. After a long time, the shepherd returned, carrying a big box in his arms. The wolf's eyes widened with anticipation. Finally, wisdom, he thought. The shepherd set the box down, opened the lid, and told the wolf, Wisdom is inside this box, right there in the corner. The wolf, eager to see this mysterious wisdom, peered inside the box but saw nothing. Where is it? I don't see anything, said the wolf, puzzled. If you don't see it from there, let me untie you so you can get a closer look, the shepherd suggested. As soon as the wolf climbed into the box to search for wisdom, the shepherd quickly shut the lid, trapping the wolf inside. Wisdom is far too precious to be kept in a box, dear wolf, the shepherd said with a chuckle. Wisdom is in the mind, and you can only find it by thinking, learning, and searching for it, just like hidden treasure. The wolf, realizing he had been outsmarted, begged, please let me out. I promise I will never underestimate the minds of others again. I will be wiser, more generous, and kinder from now on. The shepherd, knowing that the wolf had learned a valuable lesson, left him in the box overnight. The next morning, the shepherd and the buffalo returned to find the wolf humbled and full of regret. The shepherd opened the box and set the wolf free. The wolf, grateful, said, Thank you, thank you, thank you. I will never forget this lesson. From that day forward, the wolf lived in peace with all the other animals in the forest, respecting everyone's mind, from the swift birds flying high above to the tiniest insects crawling below. He learned that wisdom was far more valuable than strength, and that every creature had something to teach. And so, the clever shepherd, the wise buffalo, and the now friendly wolf continued their lives in the forest, each wiser and happier than before. The End